What's in your head is just as important as what's on your plate. You get to be in control of how other people show up in your life. It is pretty easy if you're prepared. And I think being prepared is the key. Hi, WW team. My name's Gary Foster, and I'm the Chief Scientific Officer at WW. By way of background, I'm a clinical psychologist, and I have spent all of my 30 years of my professional life dedicated to helping people on their weight and wellness journeys. The first 20 or so years of my career, I spent at university settings doing research on the prevention of weight management issues, the treatment of them, children, adults, community-based approaches, as well as clinic and more medical-based approaches. So it was a great opportunity for me to scale that scientific knowledge to help improve the lives of our members when I joined WW almost nine years ago, and I have loved every second of it since. I thought what it might be useful to do is just to give you a brief introduction or overview of what our science team does. And it really does three things. One is that it minds the research that's happening outside of WW to always be looking for things that can improve our program and experience. In addition, we do our own research. For example, anytime a new program or a new initiative is launched to you as members, it is our absolute obligation to test that extensively before it launches. And then after it launches and all the bells and whistles and we have the full embodied version of the app and workshops and D360, we test it yet again. So we're continuing to make sure that our promise to you to develop healthy habits rooted in science is both occurring on the front end as a program is developed, but also after it's developed and out in the field. The second thing we do that you might be less familiar with because it's more behind the scenes is try to embed behavioral science in everything we do whether it's training our coaches, whether it's deciding which behaviors will be incentivized in the Wellness Wins program. That comes from the science of what behaviors we know that drive our members' success. The third thing we do is we're responsible for what the new program is and how it evolves over time. So for example, how did we go to make the decision that we used to have two pillars of diet or nutrition and activity, and now that's evolved to mindset and sleep. And then importantly, because at WW, we're not just about the what, we're the, about the how. What are the practical, actionable, and particularly science-proven techniques that can help you in your journey in each of our pillars? So I hope you gives you a, a little bit of sense of uh, my background, as well as the great work that the science teams does behind the scene um, and it's really our honor to do that on your behalf. You might be wondering, how and why does WW change its program and its approach from time to time? So I thought I would give you sort of an insider's view of how we go about that process. There's really two factors that influence if and when we change a program. The first is to listening to people like you. What do you like about our current program? What do you think some gaps are and how we might be able to improve it? And then once we hear from you, then it's our role in the science team to think about what science-based approaches can reliably deliver on what we're hearing from members like you. So when those two things interact, that we can hear the needs from people like you and then also match that up to science that will reliably deliver on those needs, that's when we get excited about our new program. And as you'll hear and have already heard, we're always infusing new science into the process. So for example, we hear that people uh, are thinking more not just about carbs, not just about sugar, but the types of sugar and wondering about those for their overall health and wellness. So that's why you see that we reviewed the science extensively and have decided this year to replace total sugar with added sugar. We've also made updates on people talking a lot about things like avocado and nuts 
and healthy fats. Why aren't they represented in the algorithm or personal points algorithm? Now they are. So both saturated fats, which are generally less healthy, and unsaturated or the healthier fats are now both included in our algorithm. More to come on the specifics of the program, but I just wanted to give you a sense is this isn't some random science experiment. This is really trying to blend the things you're looking for and making sure we can deliver to them to you in a science-based way. And importantly, and I can't say this enough because it's such an important value for our company, no program gets to you unless it's been extensively tested. This program was tested in over 2,000 people internally for a couple days, for a couple weeks, tweak this, tweak that. Then in a very elegant thousand person study that compared different iterations of our program. In addition, we then take the program before it even gets to you and have a third party university evaluate it for us using measures that are both based on, measure, on things on the scale as well as off. And what I can tell you is all of those signals are very, very promising. We're able to, to get really significant weight loss. We're able to get reductions in hunger, reductions in cravings, because we want this program to be livable. That's what we've heard from you, as well as overall improvements in things like quality of life, sleep, and other factors. So rest assured, we're always listening to you. We're always looking to get science to meet you where you are. And any program before it gets to you is extensively tested. So I'm very confident you're gonna love this new program and it's gonna produce the results that you're looking for. I just wanted to spend a minute or two sharing how excited I am about our new personal points program. I've been at WW for almost nine years so I've seen several program innovations at this point. And I can say without exception, this is the best program I have ever seen. And the reason is because it brings together a lot of novel thinking, all of it grounded in science. So let me walk you through each of the three big parts of our innovation. There are many more details behind this, but I wanted to leave you with three things. The first is that for the first time, we're going to have truly personalized zero point foods. You know the magic of zero point foods as members now. They nudge you to foods. They give you directions for what kind of meals to look for in restaurants. And importantly, they're zero points. So no impact to your budget. And they're also the cornerstone of a healthy eating pattern. These are the foods that guidelines tell us time and time again that we should be eating more of. And they don't have to be weighed, measured, or tracked. We don't want you spending a lot of time and mental energy on foods that are so healthy for you that you have to worry about measuring this and that every single time you eat it. So the fact that they're gonna be personalized based on questions that you answer will really be yours. So right now, of course, we have blue, green, and purple, and that's great. There's three different plans, but no two plans will be alike in personal points because no two of you are alike. So we're really doubling down on what we heard from you is we want a more personalized plan. And while we're proud of my WW Plus because it advances where we are, this is a meteoric shift in what we're doing to make this program more personalized for you. So I'm really excited about that. The second part that excites me is that we're changing our a personal points algorithm. So as you know, over time we've changed it. It used to be calories, fat, fiber, then it was some other things. And most recently it was calories, saturated fat, protein, and sugar. And that's because we know scientifically that all carbs are not the same, not all fats are the same. And we wanted to look at a program that was gonna guide a healthy pattern of eating independent of what your weight is. And we think that we firmly delivered on that. But science changes and what you're looking for changes. So what we heard from you as we talked to members like you was they were interested in why things like healthy fats weren't in the formula. Things that uh, you hear a lot about, that consumption of nuts 
is part of a healthy eating pattern, that consumption of things like avocado. So while they have calories and they have fat, the fat is actually a healthy source of fat. So that's now in our formula. Another change is we're gonna add fiber into the formula, which we haven't been able to do at this point. And the science is really clear about the beneficial effects of fiber, especially in keeping uh, folks full and making the journey more sustainable. And the third thing we've done, we always took the stand that all carbs weren't the same. So not carbs, but sugar was in our formula from IWW+. Now we're saying something even more refined. Not all sugars are the same. So instead of total sugar being in the formula, we're gonna focus on added sugar. Because there are things that have naturally occurring sugar like yogurt and other things that got disadvantaged in our current formula. So that's the rationale for that change. The third thing, and the thing I'm probably most excited about, is the ability to earn points. What we heard from people was, you know, I get a points target, I'm at 28 or 30, and I have breakfast, and then I'm three below that. And then I have lunch, and I'm five below that. And it seems like the tank's always just going down. It can be a little demoralizing. And we put our heads together and thought about, is there a way that we can give people a lift during the day, a boost to their journey, and give them a greater sense of control? Instead of the number always going down, could it go up? But because we don't want to do this in any arbitrary way, we did it in a way that nudged healthy behaviors. So as you know now, three healthy behaviors, drinking water, being hydrated, consuming non-starchy vegetables, and increasing your physical activities are all ways now that you can increase your points throughout the day and week. And what I love about this is it really excites people. Uh, I watched a lot of people's experiences that they went through the earlier iterations of the program and their sense of control is really remarkable. That instead of again, the clock ticking down or your, your points budget going down, to the ability that you can, through healthy habits, actually increase your points was a real delighter. So I can't wait for you to experience the program. There's lots of other details that are changing, but let me leave you with, we used to do one, either a feature or an algorithm change in most of our innovations. Now we have a new algorithm. We also have more personalized uh, zero point foods. And finally, you now have the ability to earn points. I'm often asked by members, what are some tips or suggestions that I have for helping people make this transition from the current program they're on, in this case, my WW Plus, to the new program, our new personal points program? And I just have a few brief things to suggest for you to consider. One is, your approach, your mindset to this is critically important. First, give yourself some grace. Change is hard. And here's a program that has served you well. You're proud of the changes you've made. And it's gonna feel a little unsettling for the rules of the game to change a little bit. Even though they're scientifically based, even though they're based on what we heard from people like you, it still may feel like it's gonna take a little getting used to that's okay, cut yourself some slack. Another thing to think about is that this is a time to sort of act as if you're a new member. Look at it with the same natural curiosity that you did in the very beginning. Now you're gonna have infinitely more experience than you did when you first joined the program. But if you can take this time to say, okay, what's different about this with a natural curiosity without judgment, let me try to work the plan and see how things are different. And we know from our research that this program is going to deliver both on weight loss and on measures off the scale, like less hunger, less craving, more sustainable. So give yourself some slack. If it doesn't feel immediately comfortable to you on day one or day two, that's normal. But rest assured, we do not put out a program unless it's extensively tested. And then the third thing 
And this is a, a larger point that has less to do with the program and more about your overall journey, is to remember whether the rules of the game have changed a little bit or not, that what's in your head is just as important as what's on your plate. So be aware of thinking styles that will get in your way. Things like, I can't believe the program changed. I'll never be able to do that. These kind of extreme thoughts actually are derailers to the journey. So trust yourself, treat yourself with self-compassion and give yourself some grace. Change takes some time. Rest assured, we've got the science behind this program. And I can't wait to hear how it goes for you. I'm really excited to share with you as the WW community, a new book that I just wrote called The Shift. I'm really excited about this book because it really started with a WW member who when I was talking in a workshop about a year or so ago, and I was talking about techniques and, and methods to help people be more happy and to be more grateful. This WW member said to me, I'd like to learn more about this and I'd like to get into more of the techniques and tips that you mentioned. Is there any place where this is all sort of in one uh, organized place that I could read about it? And at the time I said, unfortunately not. But that was the seed for me to take all of the science that represents the mindset pillar at WW and put that in a nice summarized way to review the science but importantly, at the end of each chapter, to give practical, actionable techniques to help people shift their mindset. So why is mindset so important? Why is what's in your head just as important as what's on your plate? The reason is based on science and based on my own clinical experience. Over the last 30 years, helping people, whether they were my patients in individual or group settings, are now over my almost nine years at WW. Person after person, study after study, it became clear to me that, that those who were most successful in the journey were not necessarily those who followed the plan every day, had the most blue dots consecutively, always did their workouts. Eating and activity are important to be sure, but what distinguished most the people who were successful versus those who were less successful was the way they thought. And importantly, the way they thought about the journey and the way they thought about themselves. So the shift is really about breaking down seven mindset shifts. For example, from self-criticism to self-compassion from hating your body to valuing your body, to just focusing on far distant, bodacious, big goals, to getting down to small specific goals that will fuel your journey. So I hope you enjoy it. Um, I, I'm so eager for WW members to read it because in a lot of ways, you helped shape this. You're the one who told us years ago, we need help with mindset. And we as a science team went out, got science-based techniques that can help you along the journey. Hope you enjoy. Just a quick reminder that if you registered for this session, you were entered into a drawing where you could receive a signed copy of my new book, The Shift. So 10 lucky members will receive that. And I look forward to hearing from them as well as all of you about what shifts you have made and how they've enhanced your journey.